Got that rambling fever, say goodbye to Ma and Pa. Cross that old Red River, and this is what I saw. Guess what I've been doing all day? Stop watching TV. And I figured I had some free time and I'd start tackling some of these home projects. That's what I did. I was running around all day just checking stuff off, off the list. And kitchen cabinet wasn't acting right. Fixed that right away. Are there birds in that gutter? Needed a hammer, a screw for that. Had some goggles on too. I knocked off like five things on the list, but about the third or fourth thing, I started realizing, I was like, I'm just kind of some suburban cowboy. Not because I was fixing stuff, it's because I had all these chunky boots. And it affected the way I was walking. Every time I walked to a new project, it looked like I was fixing to draw down on it. I was just walking up to it like this. So, after making myself laugh for three to four minutes outside by myself, I... I was like, well, I gotta make a drink later, and uh, I wonder what cowboys drink. So then I tried to call the one cowboy I know, but he told me to stop calling him, because he didn't have a phone. Cowboys don't have phones. So I had to ask Google, and uh, found out that John Wayne, America's most, fav most popular cowboy, not favorite, but popular cowboy, uh, liked a lot of tequila and a lot of bourbon, and I decided I was gonna make two drinks that I've never made before based upon being a cowboy. So, here they are. We're gonna build both of them first in a mixing glass, but the first drink's gonna incorporate Añejo tequila, Luxardo cherry liqueur, and an orange bitters. And then for the rough them and scuff them up, we're gonna go with the bourbon, Amaretto, and the Angostura bitters. And also, upon some research, apparently this is what kind of music cowboys listen to. So we're gonna build in our shaker, fill them with ice. And I started thinking, I'm like, what kind of glass would a cowboy drink out of? Could be like a little fancy martini glass, because you can imagine a cowboy after a long day coming in the saloon talking trash about somebody's cows that he rustled or horn banging. I don't know what cowboys talk about either. But. All right, so now both of these drinks are going to have two ounces of the lyric, so lick them. So we're going to start with two ounces of tequila, two ounces of bourbon. Both are going to have three dashes of the bitters. Orange bitters with the tequila. The Angostura bitters with the bourbon. With the tequila, I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Luxardo cherry liqueur. And I'm gonna do a half an ounce of Amaretto with the bourbon. Bourbon, I will do a quarter of an ounce of orange. So a quarter of the fruit. And I'll do three quarters of an ounce, half of a lemon with the tequila. Garnish the bourbon with an orange slice, and I'll do a twist with the tequila. But, time to shake them up. Cowboy style. Wish I could explain to y'all what's going on in my head right now with this. Cowboys make them weird faces all the time. The music they listen to is horrible. Anyway, so no martini glass, rocks glass, big piece of ice. We'll move on from there. We're gonna 
strain. Sorry, you cried over her either, man. Bourbon's getting a sunset. Nice big piece of orange. And we'll cut a little twist for the tequila. There's something strange. Squeeze. In the old rim. Corral. Drop. There's a breeze, we'll call this one the Duke. We'll call this one. Raise them, raise them high. Sounds like some cowboys would say. Seems there is someone at my side. 